Ah! Let's go! Let's dude, go, dog. Ooh, dude, that was man. good. Imagine if Disney kept that. My gosh. I have no clue what the heck he was talking about. do you know the origin stories of Disney characters? Oh. God. I don't know. I'm trying to think of even like princesses that I know. Aren't those like the Brothers Grimm kind of things, right? Like I know they're like dark. I know some of the original like fairy tales. I used to at least. So let's see if I have a good memory or not. As you probably know, many old tales come from grim beginnings and have been modified throughout time. We're going to be testing to see if you can guess which Disney character is based on each origin story. Ooh. Okay. That sounds kind of hard. <laughs> no. Here's how this will go. We'll play you a clip of producer Kyle reading the basic original plot outlines of several well-known stories, and you'll have to guess which popular Disney character he is describing. Oh. Okay. You'll write it down on the whiteboards that we're going to give you, and have you reveal the person who gets the most correct out of five rounds wins the game. Okay. okay. Kyle, like, better, like, subtly put in some answers for us, maybe, in whatever clips like, are shown. The bottom of my corner is like, yeah. you answer. <laughs> oh my god. I feel like this is going to be pretty mellow. They weren't modified that much. Yeah, they have probably have like a similar origin and context, right? I'm actually really excited about I know, this. Me too. At least we get to like learn something about like their actual stories. So. And it seems pretty in like it seems pretty easy, but we'll see how it's gonna yeah. end up. <laughs> I really don't want to be proven that I'm not a real Disney fan. Yeah, I have zero skin in this game. <laughs> a non-human maiden falls in love with a human man. In order to be fully human too, she makes a deal with a terrible witch. I got this. Human, so easy. This is too easy. I know. In order to be fully human too, she makes a deal with a terrible witch. Oh. She can become human, but she will have to live the rest of her life always in pain, like the stabbing pain of knives. In the end, the prince marries someone else, and the beautiful maiden throws herself into the ocean. Oh, man. Okay. She turns into sea foam. That's way different than the Disney version. <laughs> Interesting. Good luck with that okay. one. Okay. What? I know this. You do? Yeah. I like how this is kind of like uh, kids explaining things, except it's Kyle explaining things. <laughs> yeah, Kyle. <laughs> it's yeah. almost the same. Exactly. Like. <laughs> except the ending. That was kind of dark. Yeah. Like, I, remember, I remember thinking about that dark. Wow, this is this is a guess. Wow, I don't know this one. I know this because I've, I've read this before. Really? Yeah. Okay. One, two, three. Ariel, a ah. little mermaid. You yeah. got it too? Yes! <laughs> well, from the original Hans Christian Andersen story, this was a much more tragic ending for Ariel from Little yeah. Mermaid. Yeah! Oh, let's go, okay, okay. I just knew that in like the Disney story, she falls in love with a man, and that's the only non-human Disney princess there is. Oh yeah. Damn. That's really dark. Yeah. <laughs> and every step is painful right? as a human. So she did all that and she didn't even get it? Like, that sucks. But, yeah. <laughs> all right, all of my, like, English classes that I've taken are gonna help me with this. <laughs> a woman loses her mother and goes to live with her evil relatives. One evening at a party, she meets a handsome prince. As she's leaving, she loses a precious item. The next day, the prince goes door to door to find the maiden who the prize item belongs to, testing its size. Oh, okay. The woman's stepsisters can't fit their large feet into it, so they cut them to squeeze into it. Ooh. Then the prince comes across the woman, and she fits into the footwear without bodily modifications. And they live happily ever after. He's a good storyteller, by the way. <laughs> I love this whole background right? going on. It's good tea. And it actually has one foot, right? It's more like if this is the foot, they cut it like that, so now they're missing a toe or oh. they're missing part of the foot, not the foot completely. Oh, they just off. chopped off, like, oh, you lied, it doesn't fit. Like, Imagine if Disney kept that, my gosh. I don't know. That would It'd be <laughs> interesting. One, two, three. Cinderella. Yeah. You both said Cinderella. You both got it. Ooh, yeah. yeah. There's no one else that like goes to a party, loses a thing, has evil stepsisters. Like she checks all the boxes. That is true. There have been many, many versions of this story created throughout time with the oldest known variation coming from Greece from between 7 BC and 23 AD. Whoa, wow. Greece? That's so, t I literally thought it was just like from France or something like that. I think it's really interesting how a lot of these folklore stories all originate independently, but they're the same story. There's like a universal theme that like we don't even know that we're all putting out together at once. Exactly. A woman falls in love. She convinces her suitor to allow her to visit her sisters for a week. Hmm. When her jealous sisters hear about her luxurious life with her new man, who they see as a monster, they convince her to extend her visit with them, hoping that the monster will be driven crazy by her absence and eat her. The end. Oh, I'm so confused. And they lived happily ever after. <gasps> what? That's it? If I'm right, there's like a significant 
twist to this. This is my all-time favorite movie. I read the true story behind it, so okay, I know. I'm just gonna guess, so we'll see. <laughs> Who has a sister? I can't even think of anyone that has a sister. Aside honestly. from Cinderella that has yeah, stepsisters. Yeah, exactly. Let's see him. Oh. As a Sleeping Beauty. No. Sleeping Beauty. Brayden, you got this one correct. <gasps> yes! <laughs> really? Oh, I should have thought because yeah, like the beast like monster, then yeah. was maybe the person trying to eat her. That's so Okay, different. oh, we should have said the character. Why do we do that? We, we oh. both made the same mistake. Yeah, we both did the movie, okay. In the original Ooh. French version of this story, the protagonist had 11 brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. That character was Belle from Beauty and the Beast. Wow. Yeah. It's a very, very different story. Yeah. So I don't know how they got that from like the act to, and it turned into the actual movie. Yeah. So. That's literally completely different than the Disney yeah. one, for sure. It's weird, because it's not the first thing I would think. Like, these are pretty gruesome stories, and then to be like, oh, this is good source material for a kid's that movie. That is true, that is yeah. true. Yeah. <laughs> Who has a mind to do that? She's like, let's just change let's it. Let's change it a little bit, <laughs> add some talking animals, so we're good. <laughs> a beautiful princess has been locked away since she was a baby by a terrible old woman. Got it. The princess has the ability to provide eternal youth, and the old woman uses this as a tool to keep herself young. You know oh, yeah. yeah. There's no way you don't. A prince finds the princess, oh. and when he goes to save her, the evil woman tosses him out of a window. What? He lands on spikes that are driven through his eyes, which makes him blind. Oh, okay. Without sight, he roams the area until he hears the princess's singing voice. Her tears for him are magic and give him back his sight. Sounds like bull. <laughs> wow. Same, same. You know what? That's a nice happy ending though, because I thought like the person that has this baby captured just like straight up blinded this man forever. One, two, three. Rapunzel. Yeah. 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 That's so oh, good. Oh, okay. You always oh, hesitate every oh. time and it freaks me out. Oh my gosh. Hey. hey. Wow, I got that. There you go. I'm a Disney stan all of a sudden. <laughs> This was originally a Brothers Grimm fairy tale, first published in 1812, and you got it. This was indeed Rapunzel. Oh man, that's so different than the... Yeah, but the new version, like Tangled, definitely touched upon that, the whole tear is mm -hmm. being magic, and then like the Oh yeah. yeah, at the end. So yeah, like, yeah. they definitely incorporated more of that version of it, but like the actual original story that I grew up with definitely didn't have all yeah. that. I think uh, Barbie's Rapunzel was better than Tangled. <laughs> Dang, Very low key. Actually, I low key agree, I low key agree. But Barbie? movies? Nothing like that will ever be made again. That is true. I... <laughs> so we're going into the last round. This is either going to be for the tie or the win. Okay, let's hope for the best. A young Chinese man lives with his mother and attempts to woo a princess named Badrulbador. What? This marries one of the three terrible villains in the story. The young protagonist kidnaps her husband, imprisoning him for two nights until he begs to have his marriage annulled. Huh. Since she is no longer married, the man tries to impress her and her father. Oh, I know this one. With the help of a magical friend, he gives her jewels, gold, a palace, servants. What? I have no idea what this is. She is impressed. They get married and live happily ever after. Wow, very shallow. I have no clue what the <laughs> heck he was talking about. Dang, I was doing so good now I told you. I know, you. I'm so, dang, I forgot like how, okay, I know exactly who this what? is. What? And it's a Chinese tale. I'm trying to think of like anything I've even vaguely heard of that's originally sourced as like a Chinese tale. If I'm right, this story is like incredibly far adapted. I'm purely guessing on this one. Like, I feel like I'm gonna be so wrong. One, two, three. Oh, it's probably Aladdin. Mulan. Aladdin. Aladdin and Mulan. Well, one of you is correct. Oh, it was Aladdin. Oh, no. <laughs> I just thought Chinese, so I was like, I might as well just put Mulan. Well, because I'm Middle Eastern, like I, I'm interested in oh. the Aladdin movie. And I remember looking into the origins and I was like, that's so crazy that it went from like a Chinese story and it somehow I turned know. into like an Arab story. So that's why like I remembered that. I had no idea. That one really stumped me. Ah! Let's go! Let's Dude. go, dog. Ooh, Dude, that was man. good. I didn't even think about Aladdin. I was purely thinking of princess movies yeah. rather than like anything else that was starring a guy. <laughs> the story of Aladdin comes from the centuries old set of stories within a story, 1001 Nights, also known as the Arabian Nights. Yes. These stories though come from Arabic, Persian, Turkish, North African, Indian, and East Asian cultures. Got it. Okay. I never heard that in my That's life. That's why like a lot of the, um, Things that are adapted in like the uh, modern day films are South Asian. Like they're not even Arabic based. Like that's totally two different cultures, but people associate 
two different things like Jasmine and stuff. So I'm like, it might be Aladdin. Okay, it to makes total sense now because of all the things that he buys her at the end. And that's kind of why yeah, she like, like ends up marrying him. That makes him. sense, yeah. Because he has money now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this was a very hard fought battle. The final score was five to four. Honestly, good job. You still did <laughs> Okay, now I feel bad making a face. I was like, Ugh. <laughs> For how not confident you were in the beginning, you pulled through. Okay, Brandon, you deserve it though. You, <laughs> used, you. you used more parts <laughs> oh, of your man. brain than I did. <laughs> Hey, you know what? Good match. I'll give you my uh, Disney Plus login. I really want the, the yearly pass. Maybe I'll get into theme parks. Thanks for watching us guess that Disney origin on the React channel. Subscribe for new shows every single week. Who's your favorite Disney character? Let us know in the comments. Bye. Hey guys, React producer Lindsay here. To help us sustain and grow on YouTube, join our super fam. We've got so many fun insider bonus features. Check it out in the link below. Bye.